Hello everyone, Teacher Jonas here, and today we are going to review what we learned about telling time. So, as you remember, there are two times in a day. Daytime, which is when the sun is out, we can see the sun, and nighttime, when the sun is gone. Now, how do we tell time? We use a clock or a watch. These are all clocks. This is a digital clock. And these two are watches. So, a clock has two hands. The long one is called minute hand and the short one is called hour hand. So, for example, here we see hour hand is pointing at 4 and the minute hand is pointing at 12. So this is minute hand and hour hand. The two hands on a clock always move clockwise. Okay, if they move this way, that means your clock is broken. <laughs> so they must always move this way, clockwise. Now, this is the minute hand, this is the hour hand. Now, the minute hand is pointing at 12, which means zero minutes. But the hour hand is pointing at 1, which means it is 1 o'clock. What time is it now? It is 2 o'clock. What time is it now? It's pointing at 3, so it's 3 o'clock. What time is it now? It is 4 o'clock. It is 5 o'clock. It is 6 o'clock. It is 7 o'clock. It is 8 o'clock. It is 9 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. It is 11 o'clock. And lastly, if it's like this, it is 12 o'clock. Now let's learn more. In a full day, we have 24 hours. So in one day, 24 hours. And one hour is 60 minutes. Now, a day starts at midnight. Look at this. It's 12 o'clock at night. That is called midnight. That is the start of a new day. Now, on a 24-hour clock, the start of the day looks like this. It shows 0000. zero, zero, zero. Or if you have a phone, it also shows like this. This means the start of the day. This is midnight. So, the two numbers on the left are the hours the shorthand and the two numbers on the right are the minutes the long hand so hour hand minutes hand say hour hand minutes hand so the start of the day is at zero 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 and it goes all the way to 24 on a 24 hour clock. So, daytime and nighttime. Daytime starts from 6 until 18, and nighttime is 18 until 6. So, if you're confused, look at here. 6 until 18 is daytime because the sun is out, and nighttime is 18 until 6. So, this is how it looks from 7 o'clock. In the evening until six o'clock in the morning it's nighttime because there is no sun and then from six until let's say seven or six it is daytime because we can see the sun so 
Look at here. What time is it now? It is four o'clock in the afternoon, right? But if you want to write it in a 24 hour clock, this is 16. Or look at this one. Oh, it's nighttime. It's 10 o'clock at night. Or it is 22. 22. What about this one? It's 9 in the daytime. So it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Or just 9. No problem with that. So let's learn more. This is what you remember, right? But actually, day and nighttime are not the only ones. We're going to cut it into four pieces. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. So, in the day, remember daytime? From 6 until 18, we have morning, afternoon, and evening. Morning is when the sun is coming out. Afternoon is when the sun is on top of us. It's very hot. And evening is when the sun is going down. So, when the sun is not there, we call it night. So, this is how it looks. Nighttime starts from 10 until 5, or let's say 6. And from 6 until 12 is morning. And from 12 until 5 is afternoon. And from 5 until 10 is evening. Let's see more. Nighttime starts from 22 until 6. Morning starts from 6 until 12. Afternoon starts from 12 until 5 or 17. And evening starts from 17 until 22. So this is how it looks. Now look at this picture. This is afternoon, right? And it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon or 16 remember or look at this one it's 11 o'clock at night or 23 this one is 9 o'clock in the morning or just 9 <laughs> or this one 7 o'clock in the evening yeah or uh it's 19 or look at this one it's pointing at 2 and it's nighttime, so it's 2 o'clock at night, or just 2. <laughs> so let's learn more about telling time. This is your last lesson, okay? As you remember, the two numbers on the left are the hours, and the two numbers on the right are the minutes. So we already know this one. It's, you know, 2 o'clock at night, and it's 2. Yeah. But what about this? When the minute hand is not on 12. Let me show you. This is 0, right? 0 minutes. This is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60, or just 0. You see, it's like 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So, Let's look at this one again. How many minutes is this? Five minutes. See? One, two, three, four, five. This is five minutes. This is 20 minutes. This one is 55 minutes. This one is 40 minutes. So, remember, as the minute hand moves, the hour hand moves too. When the minute hand makes one full turn, see, one full turn, the hour hand goes to the next number. See, makes one more turn and it goes to next number. So, let's get back to this one. Do you remember? It's nighttime. And it's pointing at 2. It's a little moving because it's at 5 minutes. So, it's 2, 5 minutes. So, 0, 5, right? Or all 5. So it's 2.05 in the night. 2.05 in the night. Or look at this one. It's after 4, so it's still not 5. It's 4.30. Right? 4.30. Right? It's 4 or 16.30. So we just say 4.30. It's half an hour. 
Or look at this one. It's still not 9. It's 8.45. 8 is 20. And this 9 it here is 45. So we write 45. So it's 8.45. Pretty easy. So that's it for telling time, guys. Again, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Until next time, teacher Jonas out. Bye-bye, everyone. See you.